In the 1800s, women were prohibited from shopping? That's right. In the middle of the Victorian era, a woman's role in public life was limited. Their duties were confined to the home, turning flour into bread, fabric into clothing, empty homes into loving places for their husbands to return to. Men dominated America's growing city centers, where they worked and discussed politics, business, money, things women weren't even supposed to think about. Many upper and middle class women had servants or door-to-door -door salesmen bring the goods they needed directly to their homes. An unchaperoned woman on the city streets was taboo. Women weren't even allowed to shop on their own. And public bathrooms at the time? For men only. But that would all change with industrialization. Consumer goods were being churned out at an increasingly rapid pace. Clothing, furniture, flatware, everything a home could need. And sellers knew there was demand to match the supply. So they set out to create a place where it was socially acceptable for women to shop, and more importantly, spend time outside of the house on their own. Behold, the department store. Victorian women finally felt empowered to go out in public alone to a place where their needs were placed first. Department stores were somewhere to feel at ease, to socialize, relax, and enjoy modern amenities that had long been reserved for men. To create a more welcoming environment, they were staffed almost entirely by other women and featured dining rooms, nurseries, beauty parlors, and yes, even bathrooms. And the stores themselves were far from small. Most took up at least an entire city block. By 1893, Marshall Field Store in Chicago contained 100 different departments serviced by 23 elevators and 3,000 employees. And as the shopping experience evolved, so did social norms. Unaccompanied women on the city streets became commonplace, and female foot traffic came to determine the value of commercial real estate. Today, we can't imagine a world where women aren't allowed to shop, even though many of us are more than happy to do it from home.